No, let's talk about it. Well, if the idea of making small talk in a room full of strangers feels like teeth pulling, you're not alone, but there's value to learning to work a room and connecting with people you don't know, otherwise known as strangers. Psychologist Dr. Renee Gilbert says learning to schmooze is possible and it has a few simple techniques that we can all share and use. So schmoozing sometimes people think is sort of like you're, you know, you're pulling something over on somebody, but that's yeah. not the way you're looking at this. Right, and, and a lot of it is just making people feel good. It's talking with people and connecting with people rather than coming in with an agenda. Interesting. So putting yourself in the space of learning about mm -hmm. somebody else and being curious about them instead of worrying about how you're coming off. And the best way of being a great schmoozer is really to take care of the people you're talking with. Because we all really like it when people take care of us sure. and focus on us. Sure. So how do we do this? Well, and what's different about this from, say, just a great conversation you might be having with somebody? Uh, good question. When a, with a great conversation, we remember the topic. It can be exciting. We go home and remember what we, we talked about. With a good schmoozing experience, you remember the people you were talking mm -hmm. about. You remember the, you know, how you felt. And you might even want to know those people more. You will probably remember something about what was being said, but that's the, le the least important part of it. Why is it hard for us as human beings, and even though I do this for a living, <laughs> I find myself feeling shy in a room full of people I don't know and unsure what to do. I, I end up interviewing people, which is probably not the <laughs> best way to go about it. <laughs> well, I think more people are shy than not. Now, we all have our sort of specialty areas. I describe myself as a recovering shy person mm. because I used to be very shy. And I had to teach myself point by point by point to get over it. And it took a fairly long time. And like you, there are some situations where, you know, things can still push my shyness button. Yeah. But it's a matter of practice. It's a matter of, of learning little by little. And I describe a, a shy people as the silent majority because people don't talk about it. Right. Well, and even if you're not overly shy there's still something intimidating whenever somebody doesn't want to go someplace part of the reason is uh -huh. well I won't know anyone so I mean I feel like everybody has has trouble with that so let's talk about the, the actual uh -huh. points of practicing schmoozing um, your first one is observe and watch other people what do you mean by this well there aren't that many good training programs for becoming a good right. schmoozer <laughs> so if you look at people that you like people who feel who bring out in you, the, what you'd like to bring out in other people, they're probably some of the best people to learn from. So I, I kind of just sat down with uh, a paper and pencil and wrote things down and practiced in front of a mirror and ended up teaching classes in it. And being a psychologist, that was kind of easy. Right. Uh, but and what did you notice these people doing? Well, you are a master. I am? So, yeah. Before I came uh, here today, I looked at some of your interviews and you have a way of just adjusting to people to make them feel comfortable. Well, thank you. You can lean forward and you can touch people in safe ways. You make wonderful eye contact, you nod your head. Thank you. <laughs> All I enjoy things. hearing from people, so well, it's, it's really easy because I'm curious about And that's come. an important point. People who don't like people, and people often have a good reason for not liking other people. Things have happened to them. They've had a hard time. Mm -hmm. Their experiences aren't so good. But it helps to like people. It helps to be curious. It helps to want to know more about them. And again, if you want, if you're trying to find out more about the person you're with, usually that makes people feel better. Right. But, it, we well, all want to share our stories, and, and it's fun to hear them. You also said to to write things down. Are you talking about those specific things about people who seem to do this well? Yeah, I might, if I was watching you right now, I might look at the way you're actually punctuating or embellishing what you're saying with your gestures. And I, I notice, of course, I always look at this stuff. You have slightly different gestures when you interview slightly different people. Oh. And that's important for people to know because they'll learn one gesture and they'll think, oh, I can use that everywhere. No, we're all different. We all speak slightly different languages. The circumstances are different. So we need to adjust to what we're doing, who we're doing it, and who we're doing it with. And that's what makes the connection. Interesting. So meeting people where they are in that exactly. way, in that emotional space. And you say start with one small thing to try, which I like, because when you're learning something new, it seems so overwhelming. But you can do you know, maybe one, one yeah. thing. Well, as a shy person, way back when, um, I literally found it difficult to say hi to someone walking down the street. And you know how 
how people walk down the street and they'll say hi to you. I was a person who went, okay. who didn't say. <laughs> So I'm sorry, I'm the person who's saying hi to everybody. So maybe I've done it to you. And I, hi. I think it's wonderful. And now I do. But it's a little different now. I, I, one of the, my challenges now is working with people in the digital age because people have become digitally zoned. So I think you have to have a little bit thicker skin in saying hi and practicing some of these skills. But start small. S say hi, make eye contact, and then grow things. When I would go to a conference or a workshop, I would be happy if I just said hi. And then it was hi and a question. <laughs> right, right. Oh, that makes sense, and people can do that. Build. Um, there's so much to talk about, and you're going to have a workshop I to am. help people with this, and I think it's a great idea. Dr. Gilbert's upcoming workshop, Learn to Schmooze, is on November 7th at Bellevue College through their continuing education program. For info on how you can sign up for that class, as well as Dr. Gilbert's other classes on shyness, you can head to our website. It's a great topic. Thank you very much. When we come back, we're going to go from schmoozing to cruising. It's time to get cruising. We're talking about the new ship setting sail from Seattle after this.